lovely people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be filming my stocking filler video for him. I know a lot of families have the lovely tradition of doing stockings every year and getting each member of the family to put a little gift inside everyone's stocking. I know a lot of people open them on Christmas Eve as well. Unfortunately my family don't do stockings as a tradition. I really wish we did because I have so many good ideas for stocking fillers but it's never really been a tradition in my family. But since I know a lot of people do it every year and I have a lot of ideas for fillers I thought I would help you by creating this video so if you are struggling to find fillers for stockings for your brother or your dad or your uncle or your boyfriend or your nephew or whoever it is hopefully I can help you think of some ideas to put into people's stockings that they will actually like instead of just little tacky things that you can find around I've tried my best to cater to most budget so some of the things that you can buy you can buy them for quite cheap but at the end of the video I'm going to be doing some larger more expensive gifts so if you want a main gift to put into someone's stocking I've got some ideas for those as well but mostly I'm going to be doing smaller gifts that you can buy on any budget so you can go for a cheaper version or a more expensive version again depending on your budget so hopefully you will find something for somebody in this gift guide so without further ado get yourself nice and comfy get a nice cup of tea or a hot chocolate and let's get into the gift guide so the first stocking filler idea that I had is quite a practical one and it is a long charging cable the conventional cables that you get with your phone are only about this long and if you plug them into a plug that's quite far away you can't really use your phone whilst you're charging it and it can be quite annoying but on Amazon and places like that you can get the really really long ones and I know that sometimes they don't last as long because they are a lot easier to break but if you had a longer cable you would still be able to use it whilst you were charging it and it would just mean that you could reach plugs that are a little bit out of the way but with these cables they're just way too short and just really annoying so if you get someone a longer cable I feel like that would be a really appreciated gift to put into a stocking so next Next up on the stocking fillers list is a miniature fragrance or a fragrance sample. You can get so many samples. A lot of fragrance companies advertise free samples and they're just little miniatures like this one. I have so many different samples of different fragrances to try. I think they're so much nicer because you don't have to commit to an, like a full size product. You can just try it out first and see if you actually like it. And I think these would fit perfectly inside of a stocking. All right, so next up on the list is a pack of controller thumb grips. So what these are is they are little grips that you can attach to your Xbox or PlayStation controller and they go onto like the analog sticks on the controller. They just make it a lot easier to play with most of the time. They make it so you can grip them a lot easier. You can get these from places like Game or if you really wanted to get some special ones you could go out and try and find some custom ones, some with really nice colours or really nice patterns or even pictures on. Like for example if I was going to get ones for these I could get like Joker ones to go with the controller. But if you know a gamer I feel like a pack of thumb grips would be an ideal present for them. Next up, we have a gift card. I feel like a gift card is the kind of gift you get for somebody when you're really not sure what they would like. There are a lot of universal gift cards that you can use in a variety of different stores. So if you're not sure what kind of store they would like or what kind of product they would like, you can get them one of those and they can basically choose anything that they would want. Another option for this is to get them like a Starbucks card or a Costa card if they like coffee or to just get them a video game card, so an Xbox gift card or a PlayStation gift card or to simply get them something like a Netflix or a Spotify card as well. I feel like if you're really unsure what to get someone for Christmas, I feel like a gift card is a good option because they can basically choose what they want instead of you having to choose for them. So the next gift idea is a pack of stickers. Amazon have really large packs of stickers where you can get like a hundred different stickers for under a tenner, which is really good. My favourite place to buy stickers from is from Redbubble. They have the most amazing stickers in my opinion. So I've got a few here. Just as an example, I've got so many of these. I've got this one, which is Andy from Parks and Recreation. If my camera will ever focus, probably not. And it just says, I have no idea what I'm doing. And then I have this one, which is just a NASA barcode and then a German Shepherd one. I personally like to cut them out instead of actually like taking a sticky bit off so that I can just stick them to a wall instead of 
you know, losing the stickiness and ruining the sticker. But you can pretty much find stickers for everything on Redbubble. If you just go on there and you type in anything, you can find a sticker for it. So you could go onto Redbubble, type in pretty much everything that they like, get a load of different stickers, and then you could put them into a little gift bag and tie it up and then pop that into the stocking. But Redbubble is a really good place to buy stickers as well as Amazon, or you could go to somewhere like Etsy and get some like custom made stickers and then just make them a cute little bag full of their favorite stickers and that they can put everywhere. Okay, so the next gift idea is a staple for Christmas stockings, and that is a pack of chocolate coins. I think chocolate coins are one of the most traditional gifts to get on Christmas, and in a stocking as well, they just fit perfectly. So you could include a nice pack of chocolate coins, some white ones, or some mi milk chocolate ones, but chocolate coins I think are a must for a stocking. Next up, we have a gift for somebody in your family that is creative and likes doing art. You could put a nice pack of art pencils in a stocking or a nice pack of paintbrushes. You could even put some miniature paints in there. But if someone has a nice hobby of being creative and doing drawing, I think that would be such a cute thing to put inside a stocking. I myself love drawing and that is just the kind of thing that I would like getting in a stocking. So if you do know someone that is artsy or creative, that is the perfect stocking filler for them. Okay, so the next gift I have is a pair of Christmassy socks. Most guys get a pair of socks for Christmas. It's a Lynx set and a pair of Christmas socks. They get at least like three Lynx sets and a couple pairs of Christmassy socks. So you could go more traditional and get them a nice pair of fluffy socks, but if they aren't really into fluffy socks, and obviously these are women's socks because they're mine, you could just get them ones with a nice Christmassy pattern on. In Primark, they have some Christmassy like Star Wars ones. Um, I've seen Christmas Frick and Morty ones or Christmas Marvel ones. Just a pair of socks that are a little bit more festive instead of just getting them some plain old socks, but you could just wrap them up and put them inside a stocking. I feel like you can't really go wrong with Christmas socks. Next up is along the same lines but just a little bit more of a jokey present and that is a pair of joke underwear. I've seen so many different types of joke underwear on Amazon. If you just type in joke underwear on Amazon you will just find some really cringy or creepy ones. We could even just get them some really cheesy Christmas underwear but if you really really want to go sort of the more jokey side and you have a boyfriend you could get them a pair of underwear that has your face on it. I've seen people getting these for their partner for Valentine's Day and anniversaries and it's basically just a full-size picture of just a cut out of your face on a pair of underwear. So if you have a boyfriend and you want to get him a bit more of a jokey gift, obviously it's probably not the best quality pair of underwear but I feel like that would just be a really funny present to get and just a little bit less serious. Another gift on my list is a pack of miniature shower products. So the Body Shop have some really nice miniature shower sets as well as just going into boots. There are just loads of different ones. Like Ted Baker does some really nice miniatures. You get like them some shower products and just like take them out of the packaging and just pop them in. As well as getting the miniature link sets as well. They're pretty much everywhere around Christmas but you could just get them a load of mini shower products and just put them into the stocking. So next up we have a new phone case. I think this is a good present idea. A lot of people keep the same phone case for the entirety of the time that they have that phone until they get a new phone and then they get a new phone case. So you could order them a nice new one, you could go down the route of getting them an industrial one if there's someone that drops their phone a lot and breaks their phone and cracks their screen all the time. Or you could just get them a nice one with a nice design on, maybe their favourite band or just a really nice pattern. Again, Redbubble is a good place to go for phone cases because you can pretty much get everything imaginable onto a phone case. Or you could just go to a printing store or a printing site so maybe like a picture of you and your siblings if you're getting a phone case for your dad or a picture of you and your boyfriend if you're getting it for your boyfriend or just a really nice picture of a scene from their favorite movie or something just to make it a little bit more special and something that nobody else has so next up we have a miniature pack of sweets they do these mini packs of pick and mix that's sort of like wrapped up and they're sort of like this big you could just pop in to a stocking or just a couple of miniature bags of their favourite sweets and just shove them in. I don't feel like a stocking is a stocking without chocolate sweets and just things that you can snack on. So if they aren't someone that likes chocolate, instead you could just put some sweets in there. Up next we have some hot chocolate sachets. Hot chocolate at Christmas time is just a tradition in itself. You can buy loads of different types of hot chocolate in miniature sachets and just put them inside the stocking so that they can try different ones and have a nice hot chocolate with some marshmallows and whipped cream on Christmas. You could even go as far as putting some of those tiny little marshmallows in there, just a nice pack of them, so they can have some nice hot chocolate on Christmas Day. 
The next thing on my list is for people that are over the age of 18 and that is some miniature bottles of alcohol. You can get most al alcohol bottles in miniature size but if you know someone that likes alcohol you could get them a nice bottle of whiskey or whatever their favourite alcohol is. You could even get them some nice like shot glasses to put in there too. Around Christmas time there are just loads of different sets of mini alcohols so you can get them a few that they could just drink on the day and maybe ones they've never tried before and then they've got some drinks for Christmas day. Next up we have something for people that love drinking coffee and that is some miniature coffee syrups. So you can buy some bottles of syrups that are sort of this size, obviously no alcohol, but syrups instead that you can add to coffees. You can get like a caramel one or just a set of loads of different types. You get them some Christmas ones as well, so you could have like a gingerbread one or even like a peppermint one. This could be a gift as well for someone that likes hot chocolate, so they could add like an orange syrup to their hot chocolate and make an orange hot chocolate or some peppermint to a nice hot chocolate as well but I've seen some really nice sets of different syrups so if someone loves coffee I feel like that is something you could add to a stocking for them. Next on my list is a pot of hand cream. Hands get so dry around the winter because even if you wear coats, if you're not someone that wears gloves, your hands are just exposed to the cold all the time and they can get really really cracked and dry. Obviously guys aren't as likely to walk around using like marshmallow scented hand cream like I have or Christmassy scented hand cream but you can get stuff like this which is working hand cream. This stuff is so good for drying cracked hands and obviously working hand cream it doesn't really just have to be for the winter if someone you know works with their hands constantly and has like dry cracked hands this could be perfect for them but taking care of your skin during the winter is so important so even if they aren't someone that really uses skin care products I feel like this should be definitely included because I still feel like this is something they could use perfect and it's also a perfect size to fit inside a stocking too all right so the next thing I have on my list is some beard care if you know someone that is growing a beard trying to grow a beard or already has a really bushy full-size beard you could get them some beard care this could be something like some beard oil a beard trimmer like the little trimmers they have but I feel like if somebody does have a really nice beard that they're trying to like maintain or take care of just get them some nice beard oil or some beard shampoo there are loads of sets but they're quite small as well so i feel like they would fit really nicely inside of a stocking the next thing is on the same sort of lines and that is a hair product so this could be something like a hair mousse if you know that they use a hair mousse all the time just get them a nice new tub of hair mousse or some hair clay or even if they use something like hairspray you could get them a miniature bottle of hairspray and obviously if it is their favorite hair product and they use it all the time they're not going to mind getting another one the next thing on my list is a portable phone charger. You can't really go wrong with a portable phone charger. If someone doesn't have one, it will definitely be something that they will use. If you're trying to make a long journey somewhere and you don't have a portable phone charger, it can be really, really annoying trying to find a plug to charge your phone. Portable phone charger, just plug it in, put it back in your bag and wait for it to charge. The next thing on my list is a pack of chunky rings or a nice chain. If you know a guy that wears rings or wears jewellery in general, it would be nice to get them a new ring or a new chain. If you get them a chain, it's probably going to be something that they wear all the time as well and it could be quite special. So it could be like a main present that you put into a stocking or you could just get them a nice ring. I think rings look really nice on guys. So the last sort of smaller present on my list is a card game. Card games around Christmas as well, I feel like is an amazing present because it's something you can actually play with your family on Christmas day. So you could put like some Uno cards in there, you could put some just normal playing cards in there. They have the packs of like trivia sets you could buy. Or there's a card game called What Do You Meme, which is quite small and I think would fit nicely into a stocking. But if you type in miniature card games, you can find so many different types and you could always get it out on Christmas and play it with the entire family. Okay, so next up I have some larger presents. So if you do have a bit of a larger budget and you want to get them something a little bit pricier, maybe like a main present to put inside their stocking, like right at the bottom for them to find, I have some ideas for some larger gifts. So first up is a full size aftershave. I know I already mentioned miniature ones or samples, but if you don't want to get them a sample, you could always get them just a full size one of a really, really nice expensive aftershave and put it right at the bottom so that they get that right at the end. A really popular one is Savage by Dior. I feel, I can't, I feel like you can't really go wrong with that one. It's so popular. One of my favorites as well is the Millions by Paco Rabanne. I got my boyfriend that one last year and it smells so nice, but I think aftershave would be a really nice main present to put in stocking. The next gift is if you know someone who is a vlogger or if you just know someone that likes taking photos so they have a really nice camera that they love taking out with them. If you get them a nice handheld tri 
tripod. This is the one that I use for my camera. It's really good because it's completely adjustable. You can wrap it around things and put it pretty much everywhere you want to. Or it's just really nice to hold if you're vlogging. But it came in like this long box. So I feel like that would be just a really nice thing to sort of slip into a stocking. Or you could just take it out and just put it in like this. But if you do so know someone that has a really nice camera and likes taking photos but doesn't have a tripod, you could just get them a mini handheld tripod. You could also get them a medium sized one that is extendable as well just as long as it fits into the stocking. Next up on my list is an Amazon Fire Stick. I feel like this is the perfect size for a stocking but also obviously a little bit pricier. But if you know someone that wants a Fire Stick would you really benefit from having a fire, an Amazon Fire Stick, you could put that into the bottom of the stocking. The very last gift on my stocking list is a electronic product. So this could be something like AirPods, it could be a new phone or it could be like a fitness watch or an Apple watch or something like that. If you do have a larger budget because obviously electronics are quite pricey, I feel like a smaller electronic would be perfect for a stocking, especially AirPods. I feel like AirPods even in the box are just the perfect size for a stocking. But if your brother or someone has asked for AirPods or a new phone for Christmas, and you want to get him that and like I said if you put that right at the bottom of the stocking and they pull that out right at the end that would just be so special. Okay so that was everything that I had on my list. I really hope that I helped you come up with some ideas to put into some stockings. It can be quite hard to think of things to put inside stockings that aren't just small, cheap and tacky and I really try to cater to every budget out there so if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more Christmas content because I have so many videos lined up for Christmas content then subscribe to see more. I hope you all have an amazing day and I'm really excited for Christmas because I know I am. I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.